AIDS patients. Outline Introduction HIV infection and the immune system. Priority laboratory investigations. Dietary assessment. Nutritional management of specific HIV or AIDS related symptoms. Introduction Nutritional management is integral to the care of all HIV infected patients. HIV infected patients may be at nutritional risk at any point in their illness. Severe malnutrition and weight loss, particularly loss of lean tissue and delayed weight gain and height velocity in children, can affect morbidity and mortality. Fear of developing fat redistribution syndrome with central obesity and loss of subcutaneous fat may prevent patients from beginning or continuing potent antiretroviral therapies. Anorexia and oral or gastrointestinal symptoms such as pain, nausea, vomiting, malabsorption and diarrhea may arise from HIV infection, secondary infections, encephalopathy or drug therapies. Inability to eat food secondary to complicated medical regimens or fatigue adds to the nutritional risk. Opportunistic infections are associated with increased resting energy expenditure. HAART may be associated with increased or decreased resting energy expenditure. The malnutrition that results can itself contribute to an increased immunocompromised state. HIV infection and the immune system. Table 1 Stages and CD4 counts of HIV infection progressing to full blown AIDS for adults. Early stage asymptomatic. Intermediate stage early symptomatic. Late stage full blown AIDS. Weight loss of less than 5%. Increased energy requirement, 20% more. Increased energy requirement, 30% more. Increased energy requirement, 10% more. Weight loss greater than 10% or failure to thrive. Weight loss greater than 10% and wasting. Largely, no related symptoms, except in the first few weeks. Persistent fever and diarrhea. Multiple signs and symptoms. B. Generalized lymph glands enlarged. Early opportunistic infections. Mucous membrane and skin infections. Example, candidiasis. Recurring respiratory tract infections. AIDS defining OIs, chronic diarrhea, pneumonia, candidiasis, tuberculosis, TB, Kaposi's sarcoma. C. Immune system weakening and recurrent upper respiratory tract infections. Normal or partial activity, petrodon for less than 50% of the time. Weight loss or wasting. D. Normal activity. Weak and low activity. Bedridden for more than 50% of the time. Priority laboratory investigations. CBC. Peripheral blood smear. Urine analysis and culture. Micronutrient status. Nutrition Biochemistry Lipid Profile Stool Culture Blood Culture 
Dietary Assessment Dietary assessment is a proxy indicator of a client's nutrient intake and risk of energy and nutrient deficiency. Assessment of a client's food intake is based on 24-hour recall or by having a client record food consumed over three consecutive days. If a deficit dietary intake is determined, identify the underlying factors. Assist clients on how to make decisions to meet their nutritional requirements and build their capacity to implement their decisions. Educate clients on food, diet, nutrition and healthy eating so they can make the best choices from their available options. Nutritional management of specific HIV or AIDS related symptoms. Problem Potential causes Interventions Anemia, bare hands and fingernails Lack of adequate iron or blood in the body Malabsorption of B12 Illness like malaria, worm infestation Side effects of some ARVs, Zidovudine or Lamuvudine. Ensure they are treated for malaria and were dewormed in the last four to six months. If taking Zidovudine or Lamuvudine, you should recommend hemoglobin assessment at least once a year. Recommend Increase consumption of animal protein, red meat, dark green vegetables, especially traditional vegetable fruits, rich in vitamin C, example, citrus fruits, mangoes. Reduce consumption of tea, coffee after meals. Iron or folate and B12 supplementation. Anorexia loss of appetite side effects of medication chronic infections example OIs of the oral cavity upper gastrointestinal tract endocrine or central nervous system especially if CD4 less than 200 active substance abuse monotonous meals Stress, anxiety, depression, noxious smells. Recommend small frequent meals, energy and nutrient dense foods. Eat favorite foods, nutritious snacks between meals and plenty of fluids. Avoid smoking and alcohol. Eating in the company of friends or relatives. Advise simple exercise if possible. Provide or prescribe multivitamins. Example, vitamin B. Prescribe appetite stimulants or drugs. Magestral acetate and dronabinol for short-term use and under the supervision of a qualified clinician. If related to depression, or another psychological condition, refer to a counsellor or psychiatrist. Constipation, irregular passage of stool, or passing too small and hard stool. Side effects of medication, eating highly processed, refined foods with little fibre and fluids. Recommend Maintain a regular eating schedule and don't skip meals. Drink plenty of fluids, about 8 glasses per day, especially if on diuretics. Eat foods high in fibre, example whole meal bread, vegetables and fruits, oats, nuts and avoid highly refined foods. Exercise as much as possible. 
avoid laxatives as they cause loss of fluids from the body. If dietary fiber does not resolve the problem, you may prescribe fiber supplementation, example, methyl cellulose or xylem. Diarrhea Bacterial, viral or fungal infections because of poor hygiene, waterborne OIs. Effects of HIV on the gut. Side effects of medication. Food poisoning. Malabsorption of nutrients. Example, lactose, fats, sugars. Intolerance of nutrients. Example, lactose. Advice to drink plenty of fluids, boiled water, soups, herbal teas. Provide ORT solution or, if unavailable, advise how to make it. 1 litre boiled water, 4 teaspoon sugar, half teaspoon salt. Assess and advise on food or water safety and personal hygiene to ensure it is not cause of diarrhoea. Advice to continue feeding during and after illness. Treat for bacterial, viral and fungal infections. Identify whether diarrhea is an effect of drugs. Recommend Small frequent meals with plenty of fibre from fruits and vegetables. Example, mangoes, pears, oats, carrots, pumpkins, potatoes. Foods rich in potassium, example bananas. Fatigue. Tired. Lethargy or general body weakness. HIV infection. Side effect of medication. Stress caused by the virus. Depression and anxiety. Malnutrition, inadequate intake of food, anemia, hormonal changes, example testosterone and thyroid caused by HIV infection, loss of body muscle, discuss possible causes of fatigue, recommend, eat snacks between meals, eat High energy and protein foods, bananas, nuts, yogurt. Eat ready to eat foods from shops where possible. Some exercise to increase energy. Stretching. Rest with ready to eat food kept in close containers next to the bed. Drink plenty of safe water. If symptoms persist, Recommend hemoglobin test. If you suspect psychological factors, refer for psychosocial care. Fever Disease HIV, especially at high viral loads. Malaria ARIs OIs Advice to seek immediate care. Have malaria and other OIs promptly treated. Advice to drink plenty of fluids, safe water. Eat fruits rich in energy, like crown nuts, millet or maize porridge. Rest in an area that is well ventilated and with cool air. Mouth sores or thrush. Infection. Antibiotic therapy. Recommend Good oral hygiene and gargling with a pinch of salt in warm water. Lemon juice can be used. Eat garlic to relieve the pain. Eat fermented foods like yogurt. Eat mashed, soft, smooth foods at room temperature. Drink fluids with a straw to ease swallowing. Avoid spicy, sugary and acidic foods and drinks. 
Avoid alcohol and cigarettes. Advise to seek medical treatment if the patient can't swallow food, if there's a burning pain in the chest or deep pain on swallowing. Muscle wasting or weight loss. Effect of disease. Inadequate intake or poor quality diet. Malabsorption. Disturbance in utilization of the nutrients due to chronic infections. Side effects of certain drugs, lipodystrophy. Hormonal changes in the body, example, testosterone and thyroid. Refer for AR reassessment if body mass index is less than 16.5. Advice to prevent infections and treat infections promptly. Assess possible causes of weight loss. If due to dietary intake, recommend eating balanced meals and increase quantity of intake. Improving nutrient density of food by adding peanut butter, skimmed milk or eggs in porridge or soups. Taking snacks that are nutrient rich between meals. Eating favorite foods. Advise simple exercises, walks to improve muscle. Weight client at least every two months. Nausea and vomiting, feeling of vomiting when supposed to be eating. Infections including malaria, candidiasis, etc. Side effects of medication. Food with strong aromas. Food intolerance. Food poisoning. Recommend. Take small quantities of dry, bland or lightly salted foods, bread or toast and boiled foods at frequent intervals. Take plenty of fluids after meals such as diluted fruit juice or water especially with lemon. Sucking a lemon, the sour taste reduces nausea. Avoid greasy fried foods and foods with strong odour. Avoid coffee and alcohol. If vomiting continues for more than a day, if there is blood in the vomit or if there is fever, the client must seek medical care.